Hi, and welcome to Walk Round Video of our 1970 Triumph for Test Convertible, registered 1st of the 1st, 1970, this one. Just walk you around the car, and show you the uh, good and the bad. As you can see, it's got a very nice paint finish. If you look on the edges, you can see a few chips it's an overall a really decent finish and just on this edge here you'll see a little bit of something starting to come through Doors are very nice. They're all good. Just a little bit of something there. Quite a common spot for them. A couple little chips on there. This is probably one of the worst bits of the car, really. Just this bit here. Sports exhaust on this one. Back in the day, it was runner up in a few shows. It's all done to a good finish, really. Bumper chrome's not too bad, and the uh, anodizing's pretty good on the overriders. There's a screw in this one here. Not quite sure what that's about, but. Uh, Again, on this side, just starting to show a few signs of something underneath the paintwork there. Again, you can push it all quite hardly, it's not rotten. Uh, down here is a little bit of something down there, starting to show through. I think there was something on the other side as well, but I couldn't see it just now, so I'll go back round and have a look in a minute. These seats, I think, have been leather-faced. It just smells like leather. It's got that sort of texture to it. Back seats are standard. Carpets are not bad, actually. If you lift the back seat up. You can get it. Yeah, it's not too bad underneath there. The floors have all been painted black. Again, they want a bit of a rub down and just another go, really. Dash is quite nice. Motor litre steering wheel. It's got speakers in the doors. And it's got speakers underside here as well. Not quite sure what works though, because I haven't really done it all working yet. The driver's floor is pretty good. This was replaced at some point, apparently. I think that was in the restoration 12 years ago. Door panels, not too bad. The shuts are quite nice.
And then if we go into this side here, trusty torch, that may not need it. And just see just here, there's a couple of bits where it's sort of starting to come through. It's not awful, but it's there. A tiny repair would sort it out for now, but at some point you'd want to change the floor, I think. It's got halogen headlights. Engine bay is not bad. Wants a bit of a clean up on these. I've just put some WD 40 on these just to get rid of some of the surface corrosion. It's got an electric fan. Under the bonnet, it's painted reasonably well. See that the rubbers are in place. It's just under here where the um, balance is going a little bit. You're just sort of feeling it on that edge. And this bracket here is starting to go again. It's commonplace on these. All the D sections look alright, they're not too bad. And if you look around here on the other side, there's a couple of little bits. So maybe a new front balance at some point. Again, it's not awful. It's got spats adjustable all around as well. Just fire her up. It's a bit cold at the moment. Bit of the throttle that's uh, also the light goes out. Had an auto conversion as well. Fuel gauge isn't working, it's the sender. It's got a high torque charge motor as well.
you go, it's the first video. That'll give you an idea of the car. We can make some more video if you need it, but um, if you need any more information, please call us on 07876 616 886. Thanks for looking.